Hey, Park Hills, a lot has happened in the last couple of weeks, and we've been saddened by what we've seen. We've been overwhelmed by some of the news. We've been broken as we look at this world and think, will justice ever come? Will individuals who are upset about it find the right ways to express themselves? Uh, we're, we're grateful for the ways that many have protested peacefully. We're broken by uh, the riots and other things that have happened. It's just overwhelming, and it, at times it makes you just wonder, God, where are you in all this? What are you doing? Are you seeing this? Are you aware? And I want to put you at ease. God absolutely knows what's going on. And in many ways, he delights in the fact that we're mourning because he, he runs justice just as much as we do. Uh, but at the same time, I know that the way things are going isn't always the way it's supposed to right now. And so we're able to, to admit that and understand that and, and be okay with that reality, that we live in a planet that's broken, that even though injustice is seen, uh, that, that people are broken by it and they're going to act however they want to act. But as a Christian, we need to act a little differently. And so we're grateful for some of the developments that have happened over the last few days, even in watching uh, justice begin to be served and, and some of the riots begin to quiet down, but we're still praying for our nation. These are difficult times, and, and you know, it's interesting from the perspective of you know, having friends that are police officers, people that attend here who are, are good, uh, honest people who take it very seriously and do it well, uh, but also know that there's, you know, a, a couple of bad ones that, that make things bad. Also, from the perspective of a bi biracial family, you look at this a little bit differently, and you you see so much hurt, so much pain. And, and, and can I encourage you, Park Hills? We need to do our best to try to see things from every angle and get truth. But the biggest thing we've got to do is be praying and continuing to push the love of Jesus. Uh, prayer needs to be our first response in these situations, and it's so powerful. And I want to encourage you in that way, uh, along with the uh, idea of we've got to promote the love of Jesus as much as we can. And, and that means we've got to be thinking very carefully about how we speak and how judgmental we sound in certain ways. And we, we've got to pro profess that, that Christ is the source of all reconciliation of, and love. And that's what we want to carry forth, this, this intensity uh, about prayer and determination to love one another. So if you will, Park Hills, let's pray to that end. Father, we come to you just overwhelmed, knowing that you're fully in charge, knowing that you are a God who is capable of doing just anything. We ask for you to bring peace. We're thankful for the ways in which peace has already come. We're thankful for the ways in which justice has already begun to be served. But, but Lord, we know that this is a much bigger problem than that. I'm grateful for so many officer friends of ours who love you. And as they walk with you, they treat people a certain way. And so I know that the answer to all of these problems is Jesus. I know that as we look to your son and follow him, as we follow his example and look at the way he lived his life, that it would cause us to live humbly and walk before you in a humble manner. Mm -hmm. But Lord, we also know that Jesus was passionate about mercy, passionate about justice, passionate about loving one another and loving you. And so God, we want to be people that explain life that same way, that we are uh, just seeking love and, and living it out and showing people what it looks like to to speak into love and to act in love and to just be loving in all ways. That we would show mercy to those who are lost, that we would show grace to those who have made mistakes. Father, help us to be those types of people that live out your gospel truth on a daily basis. Lord, we know that we fail. We know that when we fail, we come to you and just express our failure and that we repent of our sin and we know that you are faithful and and just to forgive us of those things. And so, Father, we're in the same way. We're coming to you and just interceding on behalf of our nation, yes. asking you to do a mighty work mm -hmm. in us and through us so that we might actually impact our community, impact those around us. And, Lord, we're asking for that same thing to be true all across this nation. And we know of so many pastors and so many community leaders who are asking that same thing. Not that we would just sweep things under the rug, but, God, that we would seek you and want to do things your way. So, Father, help us to express that correctly. Help us to bring that to our community. 
And Lord, we pray that same would be multiplied a thousand, a million times over in our nation so that justice would be served, that systems that are broken would be fixed, and that God, ultimately, you would be honored and praised with everything we do and say. So, Father, we're praying for that. We pray that in your son's name. Amen. Amen. Thanks.